to be able to repent about something, you need to be aware of it. You know, it, it's yeah. difficult yeah. to repent for just, I just want to repent God for, for all the things. I don't want to acknowledge them, but just I'm bringing them all to you. And, and God's asking us to, to bring all, our offenses to him so that he can cleanse us of our unrighteousness. And he promises to do that. He is a faithful God to do that. I think right now, a lot of, um, of us, I'm putting myself in this boat as well. I am, I am not above this need to spend some time and really self-reflecting. Where do I need to become aware of my um, fault right now? And, you know, like you said, Tasha, the system is broken and I, I didn't break the system, but I'm here. And so how do I need to become aware of how I can, be a repentive sister of the follower of Jesus, and how can I be a part that can take a part take a part in that? I was listening to a sermon recently by um, our friend Charlie Dates up in Chicago, and and he talked about this. So long, this theology has been taught of just it's just a vertical relationship with us and God, and why that is true that God does have this relationship with us vertically. That is one hundred percent true. But what he mentioned was the missing of the theology of the horizontal relationship between us as brothers and sisters in the Lord. And that has been broken. Uh, that has been hindered. That has been hurt um, because of the way our country was founded, because of things that have happened since the beginning of time. This horizontal relationship between people of the Lord has been hindered. It's been hurt. And I think that is what I'm seeing the church stepping up right now to doing is, hey, we're going, hey, I need to be self-aware. What do I need to call out and what do I need to repent of in my own life? As a as a church, and I don't mean the the people, I mean as the church that you walk into every single week, the 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 building that you walk into, how how is our leadership saying, hey, here's where we need to change? Here's where we need to become self-aware of what is our church promoting? What is our ideology that we have going? What are we speaking that is not true? And I think those collective self-awareness is when we're going to see revival like we talked about in the previous day like it is it is at hand and i can feel it and we can see it and we can taste it and we feel like we're right here on it but we have to be aware of what we need to repent of before we can step into that um i i it almost feels as though like we're just right there we're so close and we need to be willing to say, here are the things right now in my life that I need to repent of about this. And it, be and it it's becoming self-aware. And I think we're doing that in these conversations. I, I love this show for so many reasons. And one of them is days like this and weeks like this where we're having hard conversations that we've all addressed. This is hard. This is uncomfortable. This is how we grow. Nothing grows without going through pain. We just see that this is how we grow. And I think the church is going through those pains like we mentioned the other day in a show it's the it's the pain and we're seeing it and we're feeling it and my encouragement to you as a, as a watcher as you're watching the show is to not run from that pain but lean in lean into the pain and lean into the difficultness because that is where we're going to see change within our churches hi everybody i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload thanks for being a part of our better together community